Hello, I'm Brent Hudson, and it's my honor to welcome you to the 2023 State of the Schools presentation, which we're calling Opportunity Ready 2023. We're coming to you in a video form this year so we can provide you a much broader report on the successes and ongoing efforts of Roanoke County Public Schools. At the heart of everything we do is our Sea Change Strategic Framework. Joining me is Dr. Ken Nicely, Superintendent of Roanoke County Public Schools, with more on how the framework is the roadmap for our school system. Thanks, Mr. Hudson. The Sea Change Strategic Framework is the comprehensive vision for Roanoke County Public Schools and is indeed our roadmap for success. At the heart of the Sea Change Framework is deeper learning. We define deeper learning as learning that's engaging and purposeful. Through deeper learning, students utilize content knowledge to think deeply, engage with what they learn, and become prepared with a variety of opportunity-ready skills. You may have heard these before, communication, collaboration, creativity, critical thinking, and citizenship. Surrounding the heart of the Seed Change Framework are key support factors. Learning needs to be engaging and purposeful, and it takes a lot of support to make this happen. From maintaining and improving our school facilities, to safely transporting our students each day, to providing our students nutritious school meals, and keeping our schools safe and secure, our support teams work every day to provide our teachers with the resources and facilities they need to help students learn and be successful. The Rona County School Board and School Administration are working together to prepare students to be opportunity ready. We're excited about our new Opportunity Ready Certification Program and we'll have more about this new program later in this presentation. As Dr. Nicely said, the Sea Change Strategic Framework is our roadmap for success and we're seeing that success. The class of 2023 had an on-time graduation rate of 95.7%, among the highest in the state and well above the statewide average of 91.9%. We have maintained an on-time graduation rate of at least 90% ever since the state started this measurement back in 2008, and our on-time graduation rate has always exceeded the state average. Thanks in part to this high graduation rate, all of our schools are once again fully accredited by the Virginia Department of Education. Dr. Nicely, this is a distinction that is becoming more and more difficult to achieve each year. Why is that? Roanoke County Public Schools, like school districts across the state and the nation, are dealing with an increasing level of chronic absenteeism among our students. And we're still working to recover from some of the lingering educational impacts from the pandemic. These factors can have a direct impact on a school's accreditation. We believe strongly that learning is most effective when students are in the classroom, working in person with a teacher. During the pandemic, we were one of only a handful of school districts across the state that maintained in-person instruction, either daily or on alternating days, especially for our youngest students. We are confident that decision has paid off. While some of our students still have some learning gaps to address, overall, our students have mostly recovered from any learning loss that may have occurred due to the pandemic because most of our students never experienced huge learning losses to begin with. This was a direct result of having so much in-person learning during the height of the pandemic. To help districts address learning loss and chronic absenteeism, the state has introduced a new program called All in Virginia that includes extra support for students in grades three through eight and a support for the Virginia Literacy Act, as well as programs to curb absences. This new initiative was announced in September. Our plan has been accepted by the Virginia Department of Education and we're working now to implement the extra supports for students who need it as a supplement to the robust, effective instructional programs already in place. Long before the state introduced their tutoring program, Roanoke County Public Schools recognized the need for free tutoring support for our middle and high school students. Using pandemic-related funding, we launched Just-In-Time Tutoring in early 2023 to provide 24-7 free online tutoring access and help with proofreading for writing assignments. This has become a game changer for many of our students who need a little extra help completing assignments, improving writing skills, and preparing for key college assessments. Just-In-Time Tutoring was a hit from the start and our students continued to use this free service every day. Mr. Hudson, it's important to remember that tutoring, acceleration, and remediation programs are necessary and useful for helping students who struggle or have unfinished learning. What is most important and essential to all the academic success for all students, however, is the effective, high-quality instruction provided every day by our classroom teachers and staff in our 27 schools. We call this Tier 1 instruction, and it serves as the solid foundation of Roanoke County's teaching and learning program. 
Some parents and grandparents may remember the old days when students sat quietly at their desks listening to a teacher lecture. Those days are long gone. Today, our teachers are like guides, helping students discover answers to problems and work to discover knowledge, far more than just telling our students information. I wish every parent could sit in our classrooms and see the amazing instruction our teachers provide every day. I have the privilege of visiting our classrooms frequently. Let me tell you what I see over and over again. Elementary students working in small groups learning phonics and learning basic math facts and number sense. Students in middle school collaborating on writing assignments and researching history through interactive projects. High school students exploring science through hands-on experiments and labs and using their critical thinking skills to work through problems and finding solutions. In classroom after classroom, our students and teachers are involved in small group learning, discussing different topics, trying out different ideas, and learning from any mistakes. Teachers are working one-on-one -on -one with students, and it's so amazing when you see a student finally comprehend a concept, that aha moment that you see on a student's face when they understand. Mr. Hudson, after every visit to our classrooms, I'm reinvigorated and energized when I see engaging and learning taking place. This really is an exciting time to be a part of Roanoke County Public Schools. When we return, we'll have an update on the largest construction project in the history of Roanoke County and check in with the latest on the renovations at William Byrd High School. The Roanoke County Public Schools Education Foundation helps provide support for teachers and graduates in Roanoke County Public Schools. From classroom grants to student scholarships to our annual Golden Apple Teacher of the Year Award, the Education Foundation relies on donor contributions to support teaching and learning. Make your tax-deductible donation today to support teachers and students in Roanoke County Public Schools. Welcome back to Opportunity Ready 2023. I want to take a moment to recognize K-Spring District Member Mike Ray. 2023 was Mike's final year on the school board and we wanted to take a moment to thank Mike for his eight years of service as the representative for the K-Spring District and his four years of previous service on the Roanoke County Board of Supervisors. Mike, on behalf of the school board, we thank you so much for all that you have done and the leadership you have provided for the parents, students, and staff of Roanoke County Public Schools. This is also a very exciting time as we are getting ready to start the largest construction program in the history of Roanoke County Public Schools. Shelly Clemens, who was recently elected to the school board representing the K-Spring District, has more. Thank you, Brent. As Brent said, this is an exciting time. In a few short years, our students will be able to learn in an all-new state-of-the-art center for advanced instruction in career and technical education fields. Joining me is Jason Sir, Director of Career and Technical Education for Roanoke County Public Schools. Jason, just what can our students and parents expect to see at this new center? Well, Ms. Clemens, this new center will provide a modern state-of-the-art facility for our existing programs and offer the space to add some exciting new programs such as HVAC, collision repair, and dental assistant, and even more. Being a new center, we'll also have a new name, which we're working on and hope to announce later this spring. We are proud to partner with many area businesses and organizations like Carillion Clinic, the Claude Moore Charitable Foundation, and the Blue Ridge Partnership for Health Science Careers, Radford University, Blue Ridge Color Company, Lawrence Companies, and more. We are actively seeking additional support from area businesses. If your business would like to partner with us on this new center, please reach out to us. Career and technical education is a critical part of the economic development of Roanoke County. CTE plays a significant role in developing a skilled workforce and centers like the one we're planning to build go a long way toward expanding a skilled workforce to attract new businesses and to fill jobs left vacant by those who have retired. The new CTE Center will be an exciting visual symbol of what it means to prepare students to be opportunity ready. Jason, where are we on the development of the new CTE Center? Well, late last year, we received proposals to construct this new center along with renovations to the two elementary schools. Two of the proposals advanced to a second, more detailed phase, and an evaluation committee reviewed those detailed proposals and made a recommendation to the school board. In December, the board selected the Branch Group and RRMM to complete these projects. Based on our current timeline, we are looking at a possible completion date of summer or fall of 2026. 
I'd like to take a moment to express the appreciation of the school board and the school system to the Roanoke County Board of Supervisors. We value our relationship with the Board of Supervisors and together with a lot of discussion and careful consideration, we found a way to find funding for this new CTE center and funding for badly needed renovations at two elementary schools. We thank the Board of Supervisors and the citizens of Roanoke County for making these projects a top priority. Jason, how else can businesses partner with our schools to create opportunities for students? Well, Shelley, there are so many opportunities in career and technical education for our students, not only at the Burton Center and later this new CTE Center, but also at our, all our base high schools and middle schools. Businesses can partner with us in many workforce development ways, such as work-based learning opportunities, including student registered apprenticeship positions. The Student Registered Apprenticeship Program is a partnership between school systems and area businesses to employ students in their junior and or senior years on a part-time basis while working to earn an industry-related credential. After completing the apprenticeship program, hopefully the company will hire the student full-time and ultimately advance to leadership positions within that company. In fact, our Regional Student Registered Apprenticeship Program is the largest in the state and includes students from Roanoke City Public Schools and Salem City Public Schools. At the end of January, we held our annual sponsor showcase at the Green Ridge Rec Center, where students and parents met with all the different companies that will be hiring apprentices for the 24-25 school year. And then on May 3rd, we will recognize our newest student registered apprentices at a special event in partnership with the Salem Red Sox and the Salem Roanoke County Chamber of Commerce. Be looking for more information about this event. We hope you'll join us to celebrate our student apprentices. That sounds like an awesome event. We can't wait to be there. Brent, as you can see, we're moving forward to create many more opportunities for our students in career and technical education. Thanks, Shelley and Jason. We're excited about this new CTE Center and we hope that you will be too. But this isn't the only construction project we're working on right now. Stay with us for the latest on the ongoing project at William Byrd High School and much needed improvements at two elementary schools. Stay with us. Do you want to work with students while also enjoying a career in law enforcement? Become a school resource officer. SROs help provide safety and security in Roanoke County Public Schools and they're a key part of the school family. Applicants should have at least three years experience working in law enforcement. For more details and to apply online, go to www.governmentjobs.com and search for Resource Officer in Roanoke, Virginia. We're back with Opportunity Ready 2023. Before the break, we were talking about our new CTE center we're developing, but that's not the only project we have going on. Benton District Representative Tim Greenway has the latest on the renovation project at William Byrd High School and two new projects that will soon get started at Glen Cove and W.E. Cundiff Elementary School. That's right, Brent. We're on the home stretch for renovation and expansion at William Byrd High School, and we're going to give you a special sneak peek at some of the construction that's already completed and look at what's yet to come. Todd Cagles, Director of Facilities and Operations, is here to show us more. Well, Mr. Greenway, as you mentioned, we're in the final phases of this project, and we're on target to have things wrapped up before the end of the school year. In all, this project involved making improvements and renovations to more than 100,000 square feet of the existing school and adding more than 13,500 square feet in new spaces. Renovations included science labs, band room, weight room, media center, school counseling offices, the library, and main gym and front lobby. Additions included choir and art rooms, wrestling area, a front entrance portico, and more. This is the new choir room. This originally was the courtyard adjacent to the auditorium. Now, the William Byrd Choir has a dedicated space to rehearse, something this school has never had. Upstairs, we're putting the finishing touches on all new science classrooms with lots of space for labs and experiments and an all new space for art classes. We've built an entirely new media center with collaborative space and relocated the counseling center adjacent to the administrative offices. What used to be the original entrance to the school is now a lobby area for students to gather and collaborate while also showcasing Terrier Pride. Todd, this has been a great project and the end result is fantastic and something the entire William Byrd community can be proud of. But this isn't the only project we're working on. As we mentioned earlier, we're in the initial stages of much needed renovations at Glen Cove. This is some video of the fourth grade area and some people may already notice something a little different here. Where are the classroom walls? 
Well, Mr. Greenway, you've hit the nail on the head. There are none. Glen Cove and W.E. Cundiff were both designed more than 50 years ago at a time when open concept classrooms were a trend. That trend apparently didn't last long and you can quickly see why. Yeah, I'm in the real estate business and open concept is great for houses, but terrible for classrooms. With all this open space, it's very hard for classrooms to not disrupt one another. I'm amazed at how the teachers and students here handle this environment every day. You're right. The teachers and students do an amazing job at Glen Cove and W.E. Cundiff, but it's definitely time to correct these obstacles to learning. In addition to the overall proposals for the new CTE Center, we've received proposals for the renovation of Glen Cove and W.E. Cundiff. Two of those proposals advanced to a more detailed evaluation phase. In December, the board selected the Branch Group and RRMM to complete these projects. Based on our current timeline, we are looking at a possible completion date of summer or fall of 2026. We're eager to get started on these projects, but it's important to remember that these aren't the only needs our schools have. In our capital improvement plan, we've also identified significant needs at Northside Middle School, Glenver Elementary School, Hidden Valley Middle School, Burlington Elementary School, and Penn Forest Elementary School. All of these schools are more than 50 years old and also are in need of substantial renovations and improvements. Todd, our students have needs that go beyond renovating school buildings. We also have to look out for the needs of students in many other areas. We're proud to have developed a plan to upgrade or replace playgrounds at all our elementary schools over the next several years. And we're also focusing on playground space for some of our most precious students with special needs. So Brent, as you can see, we've accomplished a lot in the last year and there's much more to come. Thanks Tim and Todd. As a father of a student with special needs, I'm gratified that the school board is working to support all of our students and give these students the means to play, laugh, and have fun just like any other student would. And I commend our board for making these playgrounds a priority. What's also a priority is preparing our students to be opportunity ready to the point where our students can earn a certification. We'll have more on opportunity ready certification program when we return. Roanoke County Public Schools is looking for some great people to join our nutrition team. We're currently accepting applications for nutrition associates and lead nutrition associates. Starting pay is more than $15 an hour with up to $1,500 in signing bonuses. We're also looking for a full-time nutrition equipment technician. For more information and to apply, go to www.rcps.us slash jobs. Welcome back to Opportunity Ready 2023. The mission of Roanoke County Public Schools is to prepare every student in every school and in every classroom to be opportunity ready. Windsor Hills District member Cheryl Fashani has more on how we're taking the idea of being opportunity ready to a whole new level. Exactly Brent. Not only do our graduates leave school opportunity ready, now they get to prove it. Joining me to talk more about our new opportunity ready certification program are Mike Riley and Stephanie Hogan executive directors of secondary and elementary instruction. Stephanie, how can our students become opportunity ready certified graduates? Ms. Fachani, this new certification program is the culmination of several years of planning and instructional development. It all started with the creation of the opportunity ready profile of a graduate. This profile is a visual representation of the skills and traits a student from Roanoke County Public Schools should have developed by the time that student graduates from our schools. Using the profile of a graduate as a base, we started the Opportunity Ready Certification Program last year. As part of this certification program, students demonstrate mastery of the skills and traits in the profile of a graduate. Throughout a student's academic career, they will develop a portfolio to provide evidence that mastery and that begins at the elementary school level. Our students begin with what are called student-led conferences. You may remember going to parent-teacher conferences where the parent and the teacher discuss the student's learning. With student-led conferences, we flip that entire process. The student meets with the parent and shows the parent the learning that has taken place. The teacher is there to help guide the discussion, but the student is the one who is presenting directly to the parent. This approach gives the student the opportunity to practice and develop important communication skills, as well as showcase their work while at school, reviewing strengths and opportunities for improvement, all the while students are adding different pieces to their portfolio. 
And Mike, what about our secondary students? Well, we carry the student-led conferences through the middle and high school years up to the senior year, where students will then create a portfolio that they'll defend. By the time the student's a senior, he or she has collected a significant amount of evidence to then use to prepare a presentation to demonstrate mastery of the skills and traits of the profile of a graduate. Those students that successfully defend their portfolio will earn the Opportunity Ready Certification. This certification tells businesses and colleges that this graduate has demonstrated proficiency in key success skills and should have extra consideration when it comes to job or college applications. You know, Mike, it's a very exciting and innovative process for our students to showcase their learning, and it makes learning that much more engaging and purposeful. We're also making great strides to ensure our schools are the safest that they possibly can be. Mike, Roanoke County is way ahead of the curve when it comes to safety. We've already implemented many initiatives and other programming that other school divisions have not. Over the past 10 years, we've spent millions of dollars improving the security of our schools. From physical improvements, to changing locks on our doors, to updated visitor screening systems, additional cameras, and advanced notification systems like Raptor, Roanoke County Public Schools and the school board have worked hard to make sure our schools are safe places for students to learn. But we can't rest on our laurels. We must always be vigilant. We want to remain as proactive as we can. That's why we constantly remind our students, staff, and parents to report anything that seems suspicious or concerning. Even if it seems trivial, it might be a sign of something larger. We're very fortunate that the number of school resource officers has grown considerably over the past few years. Today, we have 19 SROs for our schools. In addition, we have other police officers and sheriff's deputies who frequently visit and patrol our schools. We're incredibly fortunate to have a very strong relationship with the Roanoke County Police and Sheriff Departments. Both agencies are committed to keeping our schools safe and we appreciate their constant support. Another key area of safety we continue to expand is our capability to address the mental health of our students. Our school counselors seek to establish productive relationships with students, parents, staff, and community members. In addition, life counselors provide individual and group counseling to students, as well as education on approved mental health, trauma, and substance topics to our students, staff, and parents. Our life counselors and school counselors also focus on prevention and intervention to promote academic, personal growth, and well-being. Mike. Parents also play an important role. What can parents do to help keep our kids safe? Yes, parents are very important. Most importantly, parents can report anything concerning or suspicious to the Roanoke County Police Department or to any school administrator. If parents or students see something concerning on social media, please report it, but don't share it. Sharing social media rumors makes it harder for us to discover the source of the rumor or post and you may become a part of the investigation and you may cause unnecessary concerns. I encourage parents to view the safety page on our website and watch the parent video. This will help parents understand the terms we use and what their role is during a school emergency. The school board is committed to keeping our schools safe and we also would like to thank the police department, the sheriff's office, and the Roanoke County Fire and Rescue Department for their partnership. Thanks, Cheryl. As a Sheriff's Deputy and a former SRO for Glenver High School, I know firsthand how important our SROs are. The school board has advocated for more SROs and we will continue to work to expand our team of SROs so that ultimately every school has a dedicated school resource officer. Don't go anywhere. We're highlighting the success of our students and staff in 2023. It's time to celebrate some state champions. Stay with us. This is Opportunity Ready 2023. Roanoke County Public Schools is looking for some great people to join our transportation team. We're currently hiring bus drivers, bus aides, substitute drivers, and substitute aides. Starting pay for bus drivers is more than $18 an hour. Starting pay for bus aides is $15 an hour. Plus, new drivers and aides could receive up to $1,500 in hiring bonuses and are eligible for full-time health benefits. Apply online today. We're back with more of Opportunity Ready 2023, and we have a lot to celebrate. David Linden, school board member for the Hollins District, has more on the accomplishments of our students and staff. And David, 2023 was a really good year. 
Brent, yes it was. We have much to celebrate, and joining me is Assistant Superintendent Dr. Jessica McClung. Dr. McClung is the driving force behind our Positive Behavioral Interventions and Supports, or PBIS, program in all our schools. Jessica, before we get to the accomplishments of our students and staff, let's first take a look back at the successes of PBIS this year. Thanks, Mr. Linden. Our PBIS program is the backbone of our effort to promote a positive culture in our schools. This is an ongoing program that encourages our students to be safe, be respectful, and be responsible. There are three tiers to the PBIS program, and in 2023, every school in Roanoke County achieved Tier 1 fidelity, and more than half of our schools achieved Tier 2 fidelity. Even more, Hidden Valley Middle and W.E. Cundiff Elementary have met Tier 3 fidelity. Doing a program with Fidelity simply means that we are committed and faithful to implementing the program as it's intended and supported by research. Our schools start by understanding what PBIS is and what it is not, and then work hard to carry out the program in the right way. We're using the PBIS program to focus on school safety, coping with trauma, being fair, substance abuse prevention, bullying prevention, and suicide prevention. PBIS involves explicitly teaching, prompting, modeling, practicing, and encouraging positive expected social skills across settings and individuals. The key word here is positive. For many years, inappropriate student behavior was corrected in a negative way. Don't do this, don't do that. Through PBIS, we want to encourage and emphasize correct, positive behavior. If a student demonstrates inappropriate behavior, we help the student correct the behavior by emphasizing what to do. For instance, instead of don't run in the hallway, we encourage the student to please walk calmly in the hallway. The more we create a culture of positivity, the more we can help students more easily and more readily overcome negative behaviors and influences. Students are still held accountable for their actions, but we start by making it clear what actions and what behaviors are expected. It's clear, Jess, PBIS has made a positive impact in our schools, and I think that impact is shown in the success of our students and staff. Definitely, our schools and students have earned significant state and national recognition this year. In fact, our current Student Advisory Council representative presented the keynote address at the National PBIS Leadership Forum in Chicago this October. That is a huge honor for our student and major recognition for our PBIS program. We received two Innovative Practice Exemplar Awards from the Virginia Board of Education. One for our Sea Change Framework and our PBIS program, and the other for our Regional Student Registered Apprenticeship Program in partnership with Roanoke City and Salem City Public Schools. Four of our schools earned Exemplar Awards from the Virginia Board of Education. Glenver and Hidden Valley High Schools earned the Highest Achievement Award, while Northside Middle and W.E. Cundiff Elementary Schools earned the Continuous Improvement Award. Our staff are earning significant state and national recognition as well. Charlie Filer, science teacher at Glenver High School, won the National Hull Award from the Garden Clubs of America. And school psychologist Randy Queen was named the Virginia School Psychologist of the Year for 2023. Director of Career and Technical Education, Jason Sir was awarded the Dr. R. Lee Ross Outstanding Career and Technical Educator Award by the Virginia Association of Trade and Industrial Educators. And just as 2023 came to a close, the Washington Commanders NFL football team nominated William Byrd High School head football coach Brad Lutz for the 2023 Don Shula NFL High School Coach of the Year Award. He's one of 32 high school head coaches from across the nation nominated for this award. Mr. Linden, our students also have had a very successful 2023, including a couple of national awards. Francisca Bornoff, a senior at Hen Valley High School, took first place at the International Science Fair, a huge accomplishment. BCAT Art student Alexandra Henyon won the National American Visions Medal, the highest honor a high school student can earn in the annual Scholastic Art Competition. And our student athletes have been very successful on the court and on the field this year. In all, our Roanoke County High Schools have brought home 12 state championship titles in 2023. We'll start with the state champions from Glenver High School, the boys indoor track, boys outdoor track, boys soccer, boys tennis, girls tennis doubles teams. Here are the state champions from Cave Spring High School. 
the debate team and cheer team, state champions from Hidden Valley High School, volleyball, and from Northside High School, indoor track, softball, and boys basketball. And at William Byrd High School, their yearbook took trophy class. Our student athletes are very impressive. And Brent, everyone on the school board and the school administration is very proud of these accomplishments and more. Thanks, David and Jessica. And congratulations to all of our state champions. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back in a minute to wrap up Opportunity Ready 2023. The Roanoke County Public Schools Education Foundation helps provide support for teachers and graduates in Roanoke County Public Schools. From classroom grants to student scholarships to our annual Golden Apple Teacher of the Year Award, the Education Foundation relies on donor contributions to support teaching and learning. Make your tax-deductible donation today to support teachers and students in Roanoke County Public Schools. That's about it for our wrap-up of 2023. There were so many great activities and events in our schools and we couldn't possibly talk about them all. I'd like to thank my fellow school board members for joining me as we showcased our schools. I'd also like to thank my fellow members for all of their time, devotion, and dedication to the students and staff of Rona County Public Schools. Once again, we say a special thank you to Mike Ray. Mike, it has been a pleasure having you on the board and we wish you all of the best. And we want to welcome Shelly Clemens, who is our new K-Spring District representative. Shelly, congratulations on your election, and we look forward to working with you. On behalf of the board, I'd like to thank all of our teachers, administrators, support staff, and our superintendent, Dr. Nicely. Your hard work each and every day is why we have such an award-winning school system. Most importantly, I'd like to thank our parents. Thank you for placing your trust in our staff to teach your children and keep them safe. We are all here to help every student in every school and in every classroom to be opportunity ready. Thanks for watching.